I will link that in the description, okay? I want to give thanks to God's source in the universe for allowing me to be a vessel, allowing me to be a channel, okay? I want to thank you all for tuning in to our channel. I appreciate the support. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, okay? And you can also leave a donation. That information is also in the description. All right, so I'm going to, I have went ahead and pulled us some angel prayers from the angel prayer oracle deck. I'm going to see if spirit has any more for us. All right, spirit. All right, spirit. 
Spirit, do you have any more angel prayers for the collective today? Yeah, how y'all doing? I hope y'all feeling good. Shoot, I'm just dropping cards. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we have a special creativity. Thank you, Angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. And we have the miracle of nature. Thank you, Angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. And we have love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. The miracle of forgiveness. <laughs> Thank you for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Healthy choices. Thank you for guiding me to make healthy decisions. Yeah, don't look at my nail. I know it's it's a little raggedy. <laughs> Change and transition. Thank you for leading me safely through this change. Manifesting miracles. Thank you for manifesting your miracles in my world. <sighs> yes. Thank you for helping me express my inner creator. Thank you for helping me reconnect through nature and fresh air. Thank you for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Thank you for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. Thank you for leading me safely through change. Thank you for manifesting your miracles in my world. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So now we're going to get into some inspirational poems. Okay. We're going to start with if. Okay, so this is If by Rudy R. Kipling. <clears throat> if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet, don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph in disaster and treat those two impost impostors just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twist it by Names to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. <laughs> if you can make one heap 
of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they're gone. And so hold on when there's nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings, no lose the common touch. If neither foes nor living friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can feel the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more. You will be a man or woman, my son or daughter. <laughs> I like that. That was really nice. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. This one is called Good Timber by Douglas Meloch. Meloch. The tree that never had to fight. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good timber. <laughs> the tree that never had to fight for sun and sky and air and light, but stood out in the open plain and always got its share of rain, never became a forest king, but lived and died a scrubbly thing. The man who never had to toil to gain and form his patch of soil, who never had to win his share of sun and sky and light and air, never became a manly man, but lived and died as he began. Good, good timber does not grow with ease. The stronger wind, the stronger trees. The further sky, the greater length, the more the storm, the more the strength. By sun and cold, by rain and snow, and trees and men, good timbers grow. Where thickest lies the forest growth, we find the patriarchs of both. And they hold counsel with the stars, whose broken branches show the scars. Of many winds and many and much of strife, this is the common law of life. Yeah. Mm hmm. You know, that's why you got to put in work for the things that you want. And as I see, we all are making healthy choices, making healthy decisions so we can reap good. Reap good. Um, reap our harvest from the seeds that we've sown. <clears throat> Manifesting miracles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Loving and accepting ourselves, forgiving others, embracing this change, expressing our creativity, tapping into that inner child. <laughs> okay. Okay, collective. All right, so this is Still I Rise by Maya Angelou, one of my favorite poets of all time, of all, all times. <laughs> all right. <clears> Throw <throat> this dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may tread me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. <laughs> Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. <laughs> Just like moons and like suns with a certain certainty of tides. Just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, 
bowed head and lower eyes. Shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Because I laugh like I got gold mines digging in my own backyard. <laughs> you may shoot. Oh, snap. One second, y'all. One second. No. Okay. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the husk of history, shame, I rise. Up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping a wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise. I rise. Amen. Okay, because we're taking leap of faith. Okay, we're expressing our creativity. We're manifesting our miracles. Okay, we're loving and accepting ourselves. We're rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, collective. <laughs> All right, we got one more. We got one more. This is called Have You Earned Your Tomorrow by Edgar Guest. <clears throat> is anybody happier because you passed his way? Does anybody remember that you spoke to him today? This day is almost over and this toiling time is through. And it's toiling time is through. There is, is there anyone to utter now a kindly word of you? Did you give a cheerful greeting to the friend who came along or a churlish sort of howdy and then vanish in the throng. Were you selfish, pure, and simple as you rushed along the way? Or is someone mighty grateful for a deed you did today? Can you say tonight, in parting with the day that's slipping fast, that you helped a single brother of a many that you passed, of the many that you passed? Is a single heart rejoicing over what you did or said? Does a man whose hopes were fading now with courage look ahead? Did you waste the day or lose it? Was it well or so, so, sorely spent? Did you leave a trail of kindness or a scar of discontent? As you close your eyes in slumber, do you think that God do you think that God would say? You have earned one more tomorrow by the work you did today. Wow, that's beautiful. That's deep. What seeds are you sowing, okay? Because what you reap, I mean, you <laughs> you reap what you sow, okay? Are you making healthy choices, all right? Are you loving others? Are you loving yourself? Are you accepting people? Are you treating people how you want to be treated, Okay. What difference were you able to make today? What blessing were you able to make today, to give today, to receive today, okay? You only have one life to live. We only have one life to live. How do you want to be remembered for the life that you lived? Hmm? As we go into this new beginning, as we take this leap of faith, as we leave behind our legacies, what do you want your bio to say about you? How you lived your life? How you treated other people? How do you want to be remembered? How do you want to go down in history?
or the actions that you're taking today aligning with that? All right, Spirit, what other other prayers do you have for the collective? What final angel prayers do you have for the collective spirit? Spirit. 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 <laughs> ah, I've been cracking myself up, y'all. Like, my head, I be just, my head. Thoughts just be running through my head, y'all. Songs, downloads, a lot. <laughs> Happy. All right. Any other angel prayers for the collective spirit? Any other angel prayers for the collective spirit? Any other angel prayers for the collective spirit? New beginnings, y'all. Taking leap of faith, letting go of anything that's not aligning with where we're trying to go. Um, sowing the right seeds, treating people how we want to be treated, loving ourselves and loving one another. Okay. Understanding we have to be the change we want to see. It starts with us. It starts with us. It starts with you. It starts with now. It starts with today. Today. Ahora. Anything else, spirit? Anything else, spirit? All right. So we have, thank you for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. And we're making healthy choices, healthy decisions. Connecting through nature and fresh air. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. New beginnings. Transformation, transitioning and changing. Forgiving other people so we can allow our blessings to come in. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to love through meditations. Thank you, angels, for mo motivating me to move my body and energy, expressing my creativity. Thank you for supporting me to transform from the past challenges. Yes, letting go of things that no longer serve us so we can take this leap of faith and go into this new beginning that's aligning with our purpose, with our destiny, going through this um, transition in this time, allowing um, ourselves to be in, be in alignment with God's source in the universe and manifest what it is that we are desiring. We are counting our blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life, the abundance that's coming, the opportunities that's coming my way. As I allow myself to receive my overflow. Because it's well deserved. It's well deserved. All right, Collective, thank you all for tuning in. I will be back on Monday with Meditating Monday, so make sure you guys tune in for that. You all have a good night. I love you. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. I will see you on Monday. Thank you for tuning in to Thriving Thursday.